Okay, happy working. Thank you for the garden plot. We'll plant you later. All right, this is where the chickens were. Look at the wonderful job they did. This is ready for planting. It is fertilized, mulched, composted, you name it. You guys leading the charge, Minnie and Mickey? Okay, and we're gonna move them over here to do the same job over here. There's some sod down there. They'll get that, they'll take it up. I've already moved their feeders and waterers. Now I'm gonna go around and take these corner supports down. Now that I got my corner supports down, I'm gonna take this thing up. And to get started with that, guys, I just hold it in one hand, okay? And then I just go along. I don't even have to bend over to do this. I just go along and I would grab this. Here, let me switch the camera here. Grab this with my right hand and lay it on top of my left, like so. And that, that loose end just hangs there. I guess I'm just folding it, see? Okay, I'm not rolling it. I'm just stacking it on top of each other until I got the whole pile. Oh, look at this corner, Minnie laid the egg. Thank you, Minnie. So this is the current wall here, but I'm gonna leave it, guys. I'm just gonna keep going around setting this fence up now along here why take it up if that's where it's going to be so i'm just going to go ahead and i drag this out and then i take the stake there and drive it to the ground now that i've got that end over there i'm going to go ahead and grab this end so let me show you a little ninja trick i did here guys this fence was uh, too long for this uh garden plot so look i just overlapped it i just kept on going around and then just plopped the end right here and that's totally okay and connected it like so but see there's our shawl and here's that original line so how are we going to get through guys it's not too complicated just drop the fence in the middle okay and we should be able to roll right over that except we just have one little problem looks like this board has split i think that must have happened on the last time so what else is a farmer going to do then temporarily fix it with a hay string Right guys, the hay string is so useful. I sort of doubt that'll work, but we'll see. Let's try it. Can I do this with one hand again? Woo, you are heavy this morning. So far, so good. Woo, we're moving now, guys. Mind you, I'm doing this with one hand with about 30 birds in there through really deep mulch. Hanging in there, string, woo. Look at that. Turn it around guys so the open end could face the sunshine. Now I just put up the cross fence and we'll let them out. I got my fans, my number one fans. Mr. Brown, Lily, and Mama. Okay, this is good. The ducks want to be over here. Let's see if we can lower this fence and get them in. The cool thing about ducks is you can herd them. They're not like chickens. Yay, we got them back in. We solved that problem. Our string held. And we're going to let the dinos out. Have a good day. Love seeing them in new ground. And apparently they love to be in new ground. Everybody's running around with scraps in their mouth. Do you have you? Chickens jump right in the feed bowl. I don't know if get, guineas do that or not. So now all I good, good, got to do is go around the corners and support the corners and then uh, hook it up to the electric fence. All right, to tie off a corner, I just wrap the hay string around the corner post and my electric fence post here. I bring one end through the loop and tighten it up like so. I'm gonna tie it off like that. Look how straight that is. Look how good that fence looks. Man, okay, happy working. Thank you for the garden plot. We'll plant you later. Let's check on our guineas. Looks like they might have eaten some of their food. How y'all doing? Way up there on the top perch. You guys are cool. I'm excited about you guys. Guys, look, it's a big day. We have a huge webinar coming up. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, we're nervous. Probably more nervous that there's gonna be technical issues than anything else, so hopefully, by the time you guys see this, it's over and it went well. So, and then you can see the replay. So we'll leave the replay if you see this uh, before midnight on Monday. We gotta set some goals, beautiful one, because 
Yeah. It's 10:15, and we need to stop for lunch at 12 and then get ready for the webinar. But we've got a whole crop garden to plant. Yeah. 1,200 square feet, guys. We ought to be able to plant 1,200 square feet within an hour. So let's see if we can do that. We've got an hour and 45 minutes. I've got to do a little bit of planning uh, as far as what we're going to plant and the spacing. But then we'll just jump on it. Get in. You're sleeping on the job, man. Let's get up. Let's, do, let's plant some seeds. <gasps> By the time I found my tool... It's like 10 to 11 now, and I've got this twine and it's gotten messed up, and I can't even find the end of it. All right, we got our line up. Hey, if you if you obstruct the line, it's useless. There you go. I'm obstructing it. Leave it free. We might need to make it a little bit tighter. We got our line so we can plant in a row. Plant potatoes. It's 11 o'clock. We got to plant this whole thing in one hour. Look what I found. Oh, good. You found the filter. There it is. So I'm going to have to help the beautiful one. Dig these holes. Let's get going on this. You know, this is just too rough up here, beauty. Let's let's put potatoes in these, but then with the rest of this, let's do a shallow plant. This is hard soil up here. It's much softer down there, so that's where we should be putting our okay. deep stuff like potatoes. So let's put the potatoes in there, and then a uh, shallow uh, row here for carrot. Any easier? So much easier. Look at that soil, guys. And she's just e easily getting into there. This is exciting. This is going to come up so easy. Forget the row, guys. This is a crop garden. We're not going to be... We don't need crazy efficiency here. We just need to plant some potatoes and then come back and get them at harvest and then let the chickens back in. So nothing fancy here. Forget the row. Dropping the carrots in. Just sprinkling them in. And then I'm going to go back through and cover it up. How's the Barbie driving, buddy? Hey, I see where y'all been hiding out. Y'all haven't been helping us. Y'all are in the hot house. You leaned up the glass door with a tin. Is it much warmer in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can feel it with my hand. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I got this nice Elliot Coleman uh, hoe from El uh, from Johnny Seeds. And I don't use a hoe. I don't. I've, it's been years since I used a hoe. But this is great to turn it sideways and uh, dig a furrow. Thank you. Bring me a potato. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Can you get another one? Oh, hey, you made it right in the hole. Good job, buddy. Good shot. Look at this soil. This is like absolutely. Look how loamy and just, oh. Lush that is. It's just so wonderful. It's like a bag of potting soil or something. Yeah. Oh, right here in the mulch. It's crazy. That's the magic of leaving wood chips for three years and then putting chickens ah. over it to spread spread the rest of it out. And now you're planting into this and it's surrounded by mulch. Like weeds are not going to come back and dominate this. Ah. Nope. Okay, goal check guys. We got 25 minutes till 12. I've got, I don't know, six rows of carrots planted. Beautiful one's already gone through one bag of potatoes. Almost done with the second one. Yeah, we're gonna plant. I think we're gonna make it, guys, but we're gonna have to hustle. 25 minutes to plant some cabbage, onions, maybe a little bit of peas, and with any space left over, some buckwheat. This is cool. What are y'all doing? Plant, making a garden so we can plant carrots. Okay, so you got your own garden area here. I'm letting them experiment here. The one, one time, uh, Jonah and Josiah let them have an area, and they planted this stuff way too close, but I didn't say anything, but you wouldn't believe it. That was the most productive place in our garden. So now we plant planting them really close so they jam again. That's right. I just let you guys break the rules and uh, sometimes it works out and it's awesome and we learn something. Now we plant things too close. What a beautiful sight. I absolutely love it. Chickens on green grass. Some of them poking around in the green grass. Some of them over here still digging in the mulch. Guys, we got it done. It's five till 12. Raise your hands, beauty. Woo! We did it. We're gonna leave it and just let it, let nature take its course. Beauty's covering up her furrows. your hair. But I took out my hat and it made that. I, I think we have a new hat. Crazy hair don't care. I think what I'm most nervous about is the technology. I tried to do this two weeks ago and but today I got a tech guy 
and hopefully it's gonna work out better. 45 minutes to showtime, guys. This is it. It's just a MacBook Pro on top of a couple of books. I'm gonna be sitting right here. We got this epic map in the background. Hey, we got our babysitter. Hi. Our, um, oh, this is my ginger. Yeah. Nobody's really a farmer. Unless they have a ginger volunteer, yeah, right? The official, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You need this one of these. This is the guy you see in the blog turning all the compost piles, doing all the hard work. That's me. But he hasn't been here in a while. Yeah, I'm making it up by so, babysitting all four kids. So, yes. yeah. He's going to babysit last minute. And the beautiful one will be sitting right here. It's just right across the right way from the table. And she'll be man in the chat. And I'm so nervous. Oh, are you, are you nervous? 65. Okay, 65, 65 people, people already. 20 minutes before the show, guys. Now, it's, it's, it's like I used to run track, so if you guys used to run, uh, you know what this feels like. You go to an event, and you're nervous as crazy, especially in track, because like you, it's pretty much just you. Yeah. Right? And he would get so nervous, because yeah. we were dating when he was in, in track in high school, and um, I would go to his track meets, and he couldn't yeah. talk. Nope. He was like focused. I would pee like 87 times. He would have times. to go to the bathroom, pee. So I've already peed all three times time. now. And it's funny, like he just gets so nervous. But once that gun goes off, yeah. and you get running, he's fine. I'm fine. So once I hit start, and the technology's working. I'll get warmed up. We'll have some tea. I'll crack some jokes. The webinar is gonna be the best because. Nobody can talk back to you. That's right. So you know what? <laughs> it's your favorite thing. That's right. <laughs> I, I guess I like, you know, I like public speaking. I'm one of those weird guys. Webinars always work better with tea or coffee, just like this vlog, or even booze. <laughs> Stop. If that's what you're into. You want some booze? No, I don't. I don't oh. like booze. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. I wish we had some kombucha. Where is it? We ran out. Oh. It's kind of cold. See, I get cold when I'm nervous, too. Is it cold in here? <laughs> no. It's not. Well, I think I need to get my sweater on. It's like 74 in 74. here. Okay, so, Beauty, I got to get over there and start this. Could you finish the tea? It's got to, like, seat for four minutes. Yeah. And you said tall paws here. Tall paws here. Hey, buddy. Making us feel better already. Just familiar faces on. Makes me feel better. Guys, let's hope this works. 20, 27%. It's ready for us to start broadcast. I'll start this with you guys and let's just hope it works. Okay, go live. You're about to broadcast on YouTube. Can you broad, you can broadcast up to eight hours. Okay. Woo! We are done, guys. We had a good webinar. I think at some point we had 210, so we broke our record. We had over 200 people on there.